Let's talk about dual agency and why you should never let your realtor practice that. So what is dual agency and why should you never ever let your realtor practice this? That's right, I said it. And now I know that I'm going to upset some realtors out there, but this is how I feel about it and I'm gonna share with you why. Dual agency is when an agent represents both the buyer and the seller. Now let's think about that for a minute. If I'm representing the seller and I'm supposed to be getting them the most amount of money for their house with the fewest contingencies, but I'm also representing the buyer that I'm supposed to be getting the lowest amount for the property with the most contingencies to properly protect them, can you see why this is a conflict and why one agent can't possibly do both of those things? In fact, in many states it's illegal, but not in Pennsylvania. There are three times that this typically happens. When an agent who is listing the house has an open house, a buyer comes in and wants to buy the property. Also, when people are looking online, but they haven't really talked to any realtors yet and they go to see a property without any representation, they can easily fall into dual agency with that agent. And lastly, during new construction, if you're buying a home that's in a community where there's new construction and you go to the builder and you say, hey, I wanna do a walkthrough, show me what you have here. They then most times are not going to allow you to be represented by your own buyer agent. Now, some people say, well, why wouldn't I do dual agency? It'll save me money. No, it really doesn't save you money. If anything, all it does is the construction company or the listing agent gets both sides of the deals. So be smart, protect yourself, have separate agency, and talk to your agent about this and make sure this is what they're practicing.